to return. I know that, Clarence. <clears throat> Life on Earth was not very good to Maureen Fleming's father. He was a drunk. He couldn't hold a job. He had sordid affairs. He died in part from a sexually transmitted disease. There was no salvation or happy ending to be found on Earth for Nathan Fleming, which could only make Maureen that much more desperate to think that there must be another better world waiting for her father somewhere. She carted his body out of that museum so that her father could finally leave this world behind and hopefully find his way to a better one. Certainly, the 12 of you can understand that. You know, I, I want so badly to believe in God. Not because of any words in the Bible or claims made by Gospels, but because I suppose with our planet being polluted into extinction while country after country develops nuclear bombs coinciding with an unprecedented escalation in hatred while an entire continent is dying from AIDS and starvation as the rest of the world pretends not to notice. It's just not that easy these days to have faith in man. But if we don't believe in God, then our only alternative is to believe in man. Well, I'm not sure if I do believe in God. And even if I did, I'm not sure he'd be the same God that you believe in or you believe in. But in the throes of doubt, I still do believe in man. I believe in man's innate sense of humanity, his potential for compassion, reason, uh, righteousness in his heart. Today, now, I appeal to you in the hope that you will understand that when my client took her father's body so that she may bury him, so that he may rest in peace and perhaps find some salvation, she did so acting on her humanity, on the righteousness in her heart. <laughs> 